Yo, whatever, everybody. The cardboard mozies, which you welcome. Had a bit of a party last night, but we're gonna continue partying here. Illusions football, four box break number twelve. Four, you guessed it, eBay. All right, let's uh, get the boxes. Get the rest of this inner case out. Boom, here it is. Take care of something real quick here. Gotta lay the hammer down. Because uh, Uncle Jesse don't play that. Boom, done and done. So fellas, any, any of you guys play video games uh, that are here watching? Anybody play video games at all? Well, that's kind of, I'm glad the AC's working again, but damn, it's hot. Gums, you play on the Switch. What games do you play? Do you play like my man John is a gamer? What, what what games do you guys play? You guys play RPGs? Do you play sports games? What what what, what are your uh, favorite genres? My boys on that Splatoon and that Rocket League. Okay, I see you. Both really fun multiplayer games. John plays everything. I like it. What do you play on though, John? What is it your? Do you play on a console? Do you play the on the PC? What's your weapon of choice? My man Michael plays Madden in 2K. Ah, so this is where I wanted to, this conversation to go. So Michael, let's say your significant other. Ooh, Fallout 2, nice. My man plays on the PS4. A, that's the only way to play, baby. So one. Uh, John, I will, if you haven't already, go ahead and pick up Spider-Man for the PS4. Great game. Alright, let, let me just start with that. Definitely worth uh, the money to pay for it. Nice, Jimbo. So, Jimbo, you like the RPGs and the sports games? Well, this question is for my peeps that play sports games. I used to play a lot of 2K. And then when I was in high school... I used to play uh, Madden. Lost many friendships over Madden, and you know, I, and I kind of just started to hate it as soon as they started introducing like the QB vision and all this other stuff. Uh, just you know, I just I just stopped playing. Nice, John. Nice. But anyways, this is for my people that play sports video games. Uh, more specifically, 2K players. Well, I guess, I don't know if you can still do this in Madden, but back in the day in Madden, you were able to create a player at any position and, you know, play play as their player, control your one player in, in career mode, right? I used to always pick a running back, and I would always, you know, ball out until I got like a 99 overall. Same thing with 2K. I would play 2K until I was like a 99 overall. And then I would consider the game beat by that point. Right? Now, what if you... What, what if your significant other, like your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, was to delete your created player? How would you react? Would you either... A. File for divorce, break up. B. 
react in a fit of rage, or C, take the loss in stride and just start all over again. Me personally, I would be a mixture of all three, A, B, and C. Ah, see, ah, you see, there you go, Jimbo. Because I, I see a lot of videos popping up on my feed. There you go, John. My boy got his priorities straight. <laughs> but I, I, I see a lot of videos pop up on, on, my, on my feed uh, of, like, girlfriends deleting, like, the like the FIFA files or the, or the Madden files or the 2K files. So when, when Homeboy comes home and loads up the game and sees that there's nothing and he's got to start all over, the reaction, more often than not, is... Uh, not a good one. <laughs> like, I know if I do if I came home and the character that I put in so many hours of tender love and care into suddenly disappeared, I would be pretty hot. And I don't know if I would go your route, John, because I'm, I'm more of the thinking that there are plenty of fish in the sea, and I am quite the fisherman. So, it's for me, it would be more about the principle. Like, yeah, okay, it's a game. I get it. But it's the principle. Like, why would you do that? Like, even if it was a joke, would you find it funny if I deleted all your episodes of uh, the, the Housewives of whatever the hell on DVR? Or if I, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's about the principle. Ain't that the truth, Rara? Ain't that the truth? Cause yo, I'll tell you right now, like I was, well, like I was talking, like we were just, you know, I was hanging out with the boys uh, earlier this weekend. Whatever, you know, we're chilling, smoking, drinking, having, you know, having a good time, just talking crap. And one of my boys is, uh, he's just, he started playing this game called Kingdom Hearts. He's a little late to the party, but whatever. He's finally playing it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. If you haven't already played Kingdom Hearts. I highly suggest you do. It's a great game if you're into role-playing games. So anyway, he started playing, and then he's like, bro, like how many hours did you put into this game? And this was back when I used to put hours into video games. So I don't recall the save, like how many hours I put into the save file. This is back when you had like memory cards on the PS2. And uh, dude, I still have, I still have everything. I have everything from my PS2. I got like two memory cards or something like that, and one of them, I is like it's like my perfect save file memory card, where I have like I had beat Final Fantasy X twice. I had unlocked everything, level ninety nine, all stats maxed out. I got all the weapons, all the items. I beat the game one hundred percent, and I did the same thing with Kingdom Hearts, dude. I put like a hundred and twenty hours into that game to beat it completely all the items all the all, all the weapons all the skills maxed out all the stats beat all the secret bosses all that like about 120 hours if my girlfriend or whatever deleted that file you're gonna have to make up those 120 hours somehow somehow some way well this was back when i was a kid john this was like middle school I yeah I didn't have a job I, I didn't have no responsibilities in life now I could I probably play maybe an hour of video games a day maybe I don't have the time one and I, like the attention span is just not there like I'd rather put on like a movie or something nowadays that's how I know I'm getting old where the the love of video games is, is, is slowly waning away However, Spider-Man is, is one of the exceptions. That game is amazing. Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out soon. That's another exception. Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out in January. Devil May Cry 5 comes out in March. A lot of good games coming out real soon. But anyway, good luck, peeps. I got a Mason Rudolph patch to 189 for the Steelers. 
Carry on Johnson, 189 Lions. Got a random this matching numbers to 149. Right, I play it. Oh, damn, an hour a month? That's not good. Tom Brady, 249 Patriots. In a week, I might play like six hours. Which is, you know, if, if I told that to 15 year old me, he, he, he would laugh. Cooper Cup, 499 Rams. But 15 year old me didn't have responsibilities and whatnot. Calais Campbell, 299 Jaguars. Isaiah Oliver, rookie auto, 299 for the Falcons. You have not bought a game in 18 months, dude. I can't I can't tell you the last time I bought a game. All the games that I have, uh, I borrow. So Spider-Man 4, my boy let me borrow. God of War, my homeboy let me borrow. Persona 5, my homeboy let me borrow. The last time I bought a video game was probably when I bought Horizon Zero Dawn. And that game came out like two years ago. Frank Gore, 249 Dolphins. I'm, I'm low-key interested in maybe picking up that Black Ops 4. I don't know. Uh, well, John, <laughs> you uh, you would be wrong, sir. Saquon Barkley, 499 Giants. Picking up girls these days is this simple. It, it is this simple. Go to Tinder. And then just swipe right. I can't swipe anymore because I, I, uh, I'm out of likes for today. But, dude, like, getting laid nowadays is super easy. That's the last thing I'm worried about. Nick Chubb of the Browns to 325. The rookie patch auto. It's, it's like my boy Rara says, MGTOW is the way to life. You know, they need us a lot more than we need them. Darius, I gotta write on that matching numbers. Darius guys, Redskins patch to 199. Dude, I have the last time I played Madden, Sean Alexander was on the cover. Oh yeah, oh back in the day when I no, nah, I was still I was still doing my thing. Randy Moss 299 uh, Vikings, mind you, this was like middle school, so wasn't really having the sex, but I was getting the old old fellatio. Stefan Guskowski, 75 Patriots. You know that that uh, that stigma that that gamers are losers or can't get girls or whatever is uh, dead wrong. But you know you can believe whatever you want. I'm just some guy on the internet opening cards with dudes on it. Christian McCaffrey, 499 Panthers. You know, for all you know, I'm the biggest loser walking. I, I kind of am. Russell Wilson, 249 Seahawks. Or I could be the biggest pimp you've ever met. No, I'm not. Jaleel Scott, 499 Ravens. But who knows? It's the internet. Anybody could be whoever they want. Jimmy G to 299 for the uh, Niners. Sony Michelle, 499 Patriots. What's up, Dylan? How you doing? Oh, we got Panini points. 150 of them. Uh, got to run now. Well, don't have to run that. What's up, Lions fan? James Winston, 189 bucks. Now, that's the real pimp right there. Freak of nature? Huh, that's the guy right there. Eric Berry, 99 Chiefs. Jarvis Landry, 25 for the Browns. For the Cowboys, Triple Relic to 50. Aikman, Romo, and Prescott. What do we have here? Got a random that. Ronald Jones of the Bucks to 399, the rookie patch auto. Leonard Fournette, Jack's patch to 399. Moskowski, 249 Patriots. Got two boxes down, two more to go. Alex Collins, Ravens, 249. Marshawn Lynch, Raiders, 499. Matching numbers to 99. Got a random that. Darius Geis, nice three color patch to 50 for the Redskins. I see more Panini points. In case you didn't know, Panini points replace autographs. Hashtag no bueno. Christian Kirk, Cardinals, 499. 
Let's see more Panini points, 150 of them. I repeat, those replace hits. Maybe if we all send like angry letters to Panini about pan uh, the, the Panini points, maybe they'll do something about it. Probably not. Uh, Randy Moss to 149 Vikings, Ronald Jones 75 Buccaneers, Austin Hooper of the Falcons 249, James Washington Steelers 499, matching numbers got a random that. Marquez well, the Scanling of the Packers, rookie patch auto 499. Koskowski, 189 Patriots. Aaron Donald, 299 Rams, which brings us to the last box here. We got Leonard Fournette, Jags, 199. Saquon Barkley, 299 Giants. Andrew Luck, Colts, 249. Ronald Jones of the Bucks, 499. Uh, matching numbers, 149 there. Got to run on that, actually. Lorenzo Carter, rookie for the Giants, auto to 50. And there. Frank Gore, Dolphins, 499. We could have won yesterday if we just gave you know him the ball some more, but whatever. Nick Chubb of the Browns to 325. Browns are finding ways to win games here lately. I tried to tell y'all at the beginning of the year, Browns, they got something special going on down there. Or I should say, up, whatever, up there. Uh, for the Falcons, dual relic, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley to 50. Speaking of special, that duo, that'll be a problem moving forward. All right, the last stack here. Matching numbers. David Johnson to 399, Cardinals patch. Cardinals have been a hot mess so far this year. Matching numbers to 99. Got a random that. Zeke Elliott, 499. Cowboys. Mike Gesicki, 249. Dolphins. And that is that. But what's in the box toppers? Got Naheem Hines for the Colts to 150. Deshaun Hamilton of the Broncos to 150. DJ Chark Jaguars. Green Ink to 25. And uh, I heard, uh, I thought McGregor said he wasn't going to press charges, Chris Fitz. And the last one, Denzel Ward to 175 for the Browns. Nice. All right, so. Let's do the recap here. But first, let me see how many of these duplicates I got. I know I got some. Now these are two base. These are also doubled. These are not. Alright, so same deal. Well, these are numbered. And that one's numbered. These are base. So I'm just going to give one to each on this one. One to the Giants, one to the Steelers. I'm sorry, yeah, one Giants, one Steelers. So. They're both base, neither of them are numbered. Spread the love around, you know. But for the rest of these, let's go ahead and random them. Now this one's a duplicate. But one of them is numbered to 149. This one's base. So I'll give it to the losing side. And these I have doubled, but they're both numbered. So, you know, I want to reward the winner of the random on that. Speaking of the random, I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Even. So I was going to go to the right side team. So this will be Bengals, Steelers, Steelers, Chargers, and Cowboys. Since the right side team won, this one will go to the Falcons. All 
Next, we got a random Panini points. I got two of them, both to 150. We'll random that in a bit first. Let me write down this matching numbers business before I forget. The right side team. Boom, done. All right, let's draw a different die for the Panini points. The number two, that's no fun. Let's try that again. Yeah, I was going to say, Chris Fitz, all those people involved in that brawl, Dana White came out and said that they're not going to fight ever for the UFC. So, Khabib kind of taking an L on that one. It, Dylan G, honestly, it's not. It is but a drop in the bucket. Or however that saying goes. Anyways, put up the randomizer on the screen there. Let's do the old copy and paste for the teams. There it is. All right, got all the teams there going four times. Top two teams get 150 each. Here we go. I mean, I could, I could, that's what I thought, Chris Fitz. You know, immediately after I saw it happened, I feel like McGregor and Khabib talked about it. And it that, it just it seemed like the WWF to me. It just it seemed fake. Except people actually got hit, you know. But whatever, they're MMA fighters. They're crazy. They can do that. But yeah, it did seem fake to me. So I could I could see how that's a, that would be considered uh, a stunt or whatnot. But anyways, we went four times in the random. The Cardinals and Seahawks are on top. So the Cardinals get one fifty. And the Seahawks get 150. So Dylan G, to put it in perspective, man, I mean, you can go to Panini's website and go to the rewards tab and see what they have available. And you're going to need, at, you know, pr like anywhere from eight to 10,000 Panini points to get something decent. So to answer your question, is 150 Panini points a lot? No, it's not. All right. So, recap time. So, again, 150 to the Cardinals, 150 to the Seahawks. Patches. We got Cardinals, 399. Dual Relic for the Falcons to 50. Kirk, Cardinals, 499. Redskins, 50. Jaguars, 399. A Triple Relic to 50 for the Cowboys. Redskins, 199. Steelers, 199. Autographs. We got a Nick Chubb to 325 for the Browns. I actually like Nick Chubb. These are all going to get top loaded, but I want to show him some love. You mean the uh, which fight before McGregor? The one, um, what was it? Was it Pettis against that that, that other kid? Like the, man, I forget. Anyways, uh, Carter Giants 50. Scantling Packers 499. Jones Bucks 399, another Chubb to 325. Wow, so there were two Chubbs? Ha, <laughs> Chubbs. Uh, in this Pettis Ferguson, yeah, I saw that fight. Hell yeah, that was a that was a good one. That's that's my kind of fight. Boys just scrapping. Boys just scrapping. That reminds me of that fight uh, for the first season of uh, Ultimate of oh, the Ultimate Fighter. Um, I forget their names, but they were finalists uh, in that Ultimate Fighter or whatever, and they left it all on the on the, on the mat. It was cr crazy fight. Isaiah Oliver, 189 Falcons. But yeah, those are the kind of fights I like to see in the UFC. Just all out wars. None of that grappling BS. But you know, to each their own. Okay. So we have a Denzel Ward to 175 Browns, a DJ Chark to 25 Jags, Deshaun Hamilton 150 Broncos, and Naheem Hines 150 Colts. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out to you.